Yeah, thanks for uh, my name is Brian Anderson, and I go around schools in the world, not enough schools. I also go around the country. I was in London last week, but I'm based in the world. And I'm a photographer, I'm an architect, really, but I'm a photographer now. And I used to say I travel. You can't call yourself a traveler, so I'm a bit of an adventurer. And uh, what I do is I go around the schools like you're on and to teach kids to explore, experience, discover using my photographs. All the images you're going to see are my images. And uh, I've gone around schools for a lot, I do history talks, all sorts. One of my specialities is the North Pole and the South Pole and Antarctica. I've been to these places, walked to these places. And uh, we go into schools, or I go into schools, where the children are doing similar sort of projects. And the, the, the actual thing, oops, that's the wrong way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so these kind of photographs, you can tell what they are, of course, that's Rome off the top of the Vatican, that's the North Pole, that's the Arctic, that's the South Pole, that's me pulling a ship. <laughs> but what happens when the kids see these photographs, when they see the penguins, the baby polar bears, the reminds of Frozen and all these films, the kids really come alive. And because I've been to these places and watched in these places, there's a dimension to the questions. The kids ask the questions like the teachers will never ask, how much did it cost to go there? So <laughs> one of the schools in Texas and St. Andrews, the girls have just gone, and I have one little boy said, Mr. Anderson, explorer. How long did it take to get here today? Well, of course, I wasn't even dead until I was like, The teacher said, I think she'll come to Antarctica. So I was like, three and a half weeks. But I'd love to come into your schools. I'm DBS checked, uh, and uh, I've got two brochures. Some of you might have the leaflets, but I've also, if you're really interested, I've got some uh, memory sticks with the brochures on the board. I'll come into your schools. I, I'll work with you guys. I'll come into an hour and a half to two hours, whatever. I can run talks to suit your, uh, your curriculum requirements, but a lot of geography, history, science, all together. I combine all the subjects. So the children might look at the beautiful penguins, but we're telling them about things are getting warmer, animals, what else animals are dying? If we find that animals are finding out uh, challenging to live in these environments, we must look after the environment. So the photographs are a great way for the kids to get into some of, some of these, uh, some of these, uh, these are just some of the talks. The eyes are important, incredible things, well, I've got to but it, it is nice to talk because I said myself, it's interesting places, interesting facts, and the imagination and insight, and the kids interact, that's the important things. Uh, again, there's history, there's countries, there's Egypt, India, the Far East, there's, there's all sorts of animals as well. And uh, these are the brochures you can download, or if you're interested, you can get a copy on the, the memory stick. Uh, I go from reception, I've been asked to do some talks for reception children, and just remember they see pink pebbles like the Mongol and the Pingu. I remember the penguin in there, uh, who's the guy with the long, wrong trousers? What was What's the wrong What's the penguin called? That doesn't matter. Well done. <laughs> so the kids get up and 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 get up For example, the Antarctic school talks, these are all my images. Uh, the kids just love these birds and we explain that's a wandering albatross. You see the size of a wandering albatross, the biggest bird in the world. And we go through the life story of heaven. And it's all biology, it's geography, it's a bit of history. You mentioned Shackleton before in the first presentation that you were talking and Shackleton was actually walked in the ice where these guys were stuck in the ice. So the kids really appreciate these baby animals and it's a thing they can't go and see in the local zoo, you can't see polar animals going by, so it really is quite different. Uh, uh, again, we do all sorts of wildlife climate changes that come into your curriculum as well. I know Key Stage 1 and 2 are starting to look at these issues. So there's lots of stuff there. I also do for kids right up to, to sixth form as well. That's different talks, a range of talks. Uh, explorers, famous explorers. But also I do a course and I talk about explorers. You can get an explorer yourself. You go to the local forest and an explorer. So we look at what makes an explorer. So the children can see themselves in the woods. I also dress the teachers up. That's the best part. I bring up my Antarctica gear. And the teachers dress up in the gear with the helmet and then the goggles and the lights. And that's when you see all these phones coming around the door. Oh, the teachers <laughs> at the end of the school fridge. Um, that's the shadow from the top. The river Deep Mountain High, it's about why civilizations that remain are you know, built around the rivers and things, the Egyptians and all sorts. But that because, I mean, again, download the brochures, you can see it for yourself. But I think it's unfair, you know, the, the, the interesting images and they get the kids' attention right away. Um, again, there's some visual images you guys can see her today. You probably don't recognize her, but I won't tell you who she was. She danced out before this. The kids, do, the kids also send me drawings, which is fantastic, and it's absolutely wonderful. The kids get involved, they go back in, and we, we go through their projects and things. Uh, some of the feedback is great. I love the studies as well for the children that you get. There's a lot of bomb in the albatross, and the kids are gorgeous, you know. 
So the children are really do enjoy these things. And the teachers do as well, because it gives you a bit of a break as well. And it, it stops you having to look at, you know, looking at books or pictures, actually seeing things on the screen at close quarters. Uh, and again, as I said, we have high schools as well, and the grammar schools, and, and all sorts. Because kids want to be to whatever age they are. And of course, the talks are far more. So, if anybody wants, so that's not me, by the way, that's another teacher. <laughs> if you'd like some information on our very state, please come and see me afterwards. Thanks very much.